welcome to Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot, doing a reading for Cancerian. Welcome in Cancer, I do hope you're well. This is a general tarot card reading, so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest, let it fly. Alright, we're going to look at what is coming up for you, Cancerian. And this is a general reading, so it's going to cover love, finance, and certain other energetic aspects of your life. So far the cards are showing me beautiful things, fortune, with the Wheel of Fortune energy, and the Sun energy, so material, prosperity, success, and abundance coming in for you. Wheel of Fortune. Alright, Cancer, it is rainy season. So let's get some messages out. Let's see what we can bring in for you. So we're going to look at your past, current, future energy. All right, so let's get started. Please do remember that you are a very important part of my reading. So gather your energy, breathe in with me from the base of your spine and let us take it all the way to the top. Hold and release. And <clears throat> welcome in, welcome in. All right, let's get some messages for you. For past energy, we have the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords, Cancer is heartbreak, betrayal, depression, sadness. Loneliness, too. I'm feeling some of you were lonely dealing with what you're going through on your own. Going, even going through healing on your own, I'm seeing here. This feels like healing on your own, bearing your own burdens and feeling that your own pain, taking yourself through some healing processes, just quietly, silently going through with humility. Wow. And then some blessing came through as if an opportunity presented itself because I do feel like you were taking, <clears throat> it was, you were, you were humbled in certain aspects or not humbled, but you were humble within your healing you're taking it easy i mean i mean you know but so i feel some blessings came in for you with the ace of pentacles some financial rewards in your past because i feel like you learned how to focus your energy internally to start loving you, healing your own heart. That's what I'm saying with the Six of Cups energy. You started focusing on your your own well-being with the Ace of Pentacles. For me, that's saying your own well-being here, your own healing, your own love, manifesting um, love for yourself. Something changed. You had to step away from connections that weren't serving you. I feel you literally, you stepped into some feminine energy here when it comes to just releasing, allowing things to play out instead of fighting back. And that's what that's why some blessing came into you with the ace of pentacles energy that's that's the the energy of humility so it's like you allowed people to or whatever the situation was to play out you were receiving you're also healing and i hear curing aging learning in the process so i feel you were learning some of you may have been uh, learning about yourself, learning about money, learning about healing and well-being, learning how to heal, learning how to manifest. All right, so a lot of abundance did come in to, through to you because of some heartbreak situation. Well, not exactly because of it, but by way of you being tough enough or saying what doesn't kill you make you stronger. You move from the Three of Swords energy to the King of Swords and all the way to three whole queens in the deck here. Okay, beautiful. So you had to disconnect from certain things that were holding you back, certain identities, things that um, caused you to attract, well, more positively, you started to identify yourself as a better version, you know, wanting to, to level up in your sense of value, your sense of worth, the Ten of Pentacles here. So new beginnings, just like a new identity was br like was um, bred through whatever heartache or struggle or betrayal you went through. Look at this. That is the sun energy. So it's like brand new, beautiful beginnings. 
and you are successful just because you're holding it firm i feel like you're just being firm and strong with the three of swords and the king of swords you're holding it down you're attracting a lot of beautiful vibrant things to you I, I feel a lot of prosperity coming in through to you because you're focusing on your love you're healing for yourself and you're also healing those around you this is how I feel for you cancer and in this time very beautiful energy all right so that may have happened in your past all of this glorious energy like like you feel things working out for you as if you feel suddenly there's a breakthrough and you start receiving um, money or a new job or new opportunities and it felt like some change taking place in your life finally finally and now in your current energy we have the two of swords I, do, I feel like this is you using your discernment learning how to trust what you're letting in or learning how to follow your intuition follow your gut feeling and be led by spirit by your guides your angels this the two of swords is for me aligning with who you are because you know the truth because the ace of swords for me is christ consciousness it's that higher energy and, and these are um, your messages sagittarius see you in the next it's one the word it's being able to write your own story speaking your own truth and speaking power into your life over your own life that is the swords energy it's knowing who you are foundation stability all right your rootedness what you represent, your standards, your boundaries, what you want to be clear on. Okay, so you're being led now by higher spiritual guidance system, which, which is your intuition. So I feel like you're listening to that. And let's see where that takes you. Whoa, the Ten of Pentacles repeated in the future. That's amazing. That's abundance. The Ten of Pentacles is gain, riches, prosperity, multiple income streams that uh just i feel things setting off things on fire for you looking at the sun energy and how it is relating with the ten of pentacles i feel amazing this feels like things are setting off for you so you could be affiliated with many different people i'm seeing a lot of different energies here so i feel a lot of different energies coming into your life all right you're attracting and it's beautiful mature energy that you are attracting it's it's um it's so beautiful again sorry new people new vibrations and in your future energy we have as when i see as long as you continue trusting in your intuition um the guidance from around you your emotions and it is important for you to keep your emotions balanced whatever in whatever you need to do um, wear the color blue for some of you. Um, learn how to express yourself. Learn how to express your truth. All right, learn how to move with your intuition as well. Learn how to tune in to the, uh, the vibrations of the universe, the energy that surrounds us in the natural environment, the sun, the rain, the water, the moonlight. It's very important for Cancerians to tune into their spiritual nature. The sun card is strongly saying ancestral energy here as also with the ten of pentacles so something is something beautiful coming into fruition for you and it's coming right through for you in your future cancer and it's beautiful so look out for this look out for things unfolding and i hear just the words prosperity within your life path here oh my goodness some of you are coming into connection with a soulmate twin flame energy this could also be business alignment the Two of Cups is a, a reunion, a soul reunion, a divine union between masculine and feminine energy here. And this one is going to be so beautiful. A lot of passion and beautiful intentions for one another. A promise, a vow. And I feel like um, someone may be making their way toward you. Okay, and I know you're going to trust this connection because you're using your intuition. I told you you are attracting many different things. You could be attracting a lot of different feminine energies into your life, whether you're male or female, whether these are spiritual people or these are actual people that are coming into you. You're attracting because look look at how the cards are lined out here. Because Cancer and you are focusing on loving you, look, the King of Pentacles is the king of focus and intention determination willpower drive wielding the sword also which is the eight the sword the word the power the will focusing mirroring intending what they want and i feel like what you are wanting now is to heal something within yourself so that your external environment reflects who you truly are 
I mean, if you are a barefoot goddess and that's how you choose to live because that's how your heart is content, live that way and express yourself that way with the sun energy, trusting in who you are. And as you do so, you attract like-minded people coming into you, moving away from connections in the past that um, caused you to question your sense of self-worth and your values. And I feel you could be closing the door on these kinds of connections, um, whether that's energetically deciding to, um, what should I say, deciding to not feed into certain energies. And I'm feeling Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy here, Earth sign, that you could be sort of closing the door on here with the five of sorts energy and moving forward into the bigger prosperity. That's how I'm feeling, using your intuition, a lot of material, beautiful energy coming into you. And maybe this is when you run into, oh, I'm feeling some of you could be starting a business with the Ten of Pentacles energy here in your near future. And this is what all these alignments, and maybe a lot of different people wanting to work with you, or this could be a love attraction here for some, or both. You know, I just see a lot of abundance and like a lot of beautiful things coming through in your future. So I something about this vow, whether or not you will accept hmm. the Ten of Wands energy. I feel this is saying you will accept and continue to build. So it could be so ten of pentacles, ten of wands. So this could be telling me that you are building something, a business. What is the ten of wands energy here? Angel spirits, guys. Beloved ancestors. Help me to get clarity for the ten of wands energy. It feels like you're moving into something as if you've accepted the baton and you're running the rest of the race ahead you see that energy accepting the baton like it's and then going on ahead with the race taking up a challenge something is divinely aligned oh my goodness the ten of pentacles the ten of wands the two of wands aligning with your intuition all right something powerful is coming up it's, uh, that is meant for you. What is the two of wands energy? What is the two of wands, angel spirits, guides? The five of pentacles. It could, I feel scoring big. It could have to do with money. What is the five of pentacles energy, angel spirits, guides? <clears throat> I'm feeling like you're moving, look, from the ten of pentacles over here five of pentacles it feels like a cycle you see that and then you come back all the way around to this ace of pentacles so i feel like whatever you are working on keep moving in that direction keep doing what you're doing keep the flow don't ease up with the ten of wands keep working keep working with your intuition the wands energy is intuition creativity fertility divinity it's intuition it is faith it is life, spirit, energy, manifestation, it's alignment. And I feel like this, whatever you're working on, it's taking you into your financial abundance. Let's ask, who are, I feel you're aligning with the, the jack of swords here. Who is this alignment with wow, the three of hearts? What is the three of hearts energy? Mm-mm. They are. This is powerful. Three of Wands. Love, business, romance, connections. Some powerful connection coming up for you, and this is divinely aligned. So do keep following your heart, Cancer, and it's leading you in the right direction. Look, some offer coming into you. And it's coming in swiftly, it's coming in quickly. It's something that you love. It could be coming from a fellow water sign or, or a fire sign here. A fire sign moving into you, maybe to make an, uh, um, an offer to connect or align in business. Mm, so look out for that. That's beautiful. All right. Who is the page of cups? Who is the page of cups? Who is the page of cups? Who is coming into cancer? So it's just saying, trust your intuition. Oh my goodness. 
two of hearts repeated. That's the two of cups energy once more. So it, I'm, I'm telling you, use your, there, there are going to be many people or many situations coming into you. No, use your intuition to use your discernment. But something real and true is coming. There's a real true offer coming in. I, I hear, I feel water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it's bringing in, it's, it's love, but it's also bringing in abundance, like value, wealth, money, prosperity. And I feel you, this could be you doing something that you love is attracting wealth and it's attracting high vibrations to you. And I like it. It's powerful. What is the Knight of Wands energy? Three of Swords. Oh my goodness. All right. Knight of Wands is a Three of Swords. What is a Three of Swords? Hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Three of Swords is repeated. Remember, we saw it earlier here in Tarot. A broken heart, despair, something that caused you to level up, even though it was painful. Sorrow and victory. I feel it saying chasing your dreams or like living life, being on this journey. There's going to be ups and downs, but then you have to know who you are. You have to be know who you are, have confidence, have faith and trust in certain truths that you should hold dear to you. Power in knowing who you are. You could be attracting many different people on your journey here. This is powerful. Any last messages? The Ace of Pentacles. Any last messages? The Three of Pentacles for Cancerian. The Sun card. Things are working out for you. Have faith. Follow your heart. Focus on your dreams. Keep focused in. Do not get distracted. I feel someone may want to come into you or return to you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here with the Jack of Swords. This person likes to dress well, likes to take care of their external um, appearance. They appear very vibrant and chirpy. That's their energy. They may be coming back to you. I don't know why they are looking to... Are there uh, they are intending, they're intending or thinking of communicating with you or reaching out to you or traveling to you. That is the energy that they hold. Okay, just so you know, I'm going to leave your messages here, Cancer. Thank you so much, beloved ones, for coming through. Thank you so much for all of your genuine support on my channel. And I will see you in the next reading. Much love to you. Take care.